both the slaps. Okay, wait. Welcome to It Is What It Is. Hood Chronicles. Hood Chronicles. Ooh, ah! Every time I say that, I want to say sticky, icky, icky, icky. I just after. think of baby mama. Yeah. I don't know why I just want to say sticky. Okay, anyway, we got to get to the point today because today's show is about random ass questions that have nothing to do with each other. People send them in. Our viewers who love us so much. Yay! Even though we just started and we don't have that many, the ones who do watch, we love them. And thank you so much for watching or whatever. But anyway, so we have all these random questions. That's what the show is about today. And we're just going to ask them them honestly, right? So this is the disclaimer. If you do not like any way that I answer any of those of these questions. You really don't have to watch. No one cares. Really. I don't. Like, seriously. Because these people are asking me for my opinion. So, your opinion may be different, but this is not your show, so apparently they don't care. So, get your own show, and then when they ask you the questions, you have your own opinion, okay? That's how we're going to roll with this. Now, if I answer a question and you want me to go more into detail, because it's only, you know, 15 minutes long, the show... You can write me again, and then I'll go into detail on another show because I want to have another show about questions. So if you have something that you just want more detail on that I wasn't able to go fully into to make sure we make it to all of them, you can write me again, and I'll be happy to go more into detail for you. Not a problem at all. So let's get it. Before we start, let me put on my glasses because people tend to listen to people with glasses because they think that they're smart. Pretty much. So also I'm going to show you that I have like my little notebook. You know, make people think that <laughs> this I'm This time she actually has something in there. I'm you, last time that that shit was blank and there was nothing in there. Yeah, so they try to put me out on blast. But today I'm actually using it. See, it got words in it. And also before I start, because this is a show about questions and advice, my mom is so good at it. So I wore this button. It says this is what awesome looks like. And I'm looking awesome because of my mom. Yay! Shout out to my mommy. Sorry, the camera was... But um, I have this button on. And this is a special shout out to Printez. Trust Claire. Trust Claire. It says... It says, we be jamming. He's known to use that <laughs> word like he's still in the 90s. Mind you, he's only like 25. Okay, or 26. We love you, Printez. And I love you, mommy. Thank you for making me look awesome. Okay, now... On to the questions. Some of these will be anonymous because some of these are people's private and personal business, and I have no my, no problem with them being anonymous. And the way that I'm going to probably answer some of these, you probably want to be anonymous. Okay. First question, this is not anonymous, is from my good friend and client. Ooh, ooh, I make her look fabulous. Anaya Davis. First question from Anaya. Why do ugly women get good men? But pretty girls have a problem. The answer to this question, to begin with, is because they try. Don't care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that goes for all parties of the situation, because they trifling. The men with the ugly women is trifling, and the women who ugly they trifling. Explanation. Everything should not be based on looks, but let's just keep it real. Everybody should be equal. If you look a hot ass mess, I need you to search for a hot ass mess mate. If you look good, I need you to get you somebody good looking because you don't want nobody hot ass messness to bring your ratings down, okay? So, now, with this being said, there can also be another side to this. You can be a good looking man with an ugly looking woman. Because. Wait, no. That's what ugly the question's about. Mine. Shut up. This is the question. Ugly looking man, pretty looking girl. Okay. No one them. Two, we're going to give two examples. Ugly, because I don't want to discriminate against, you know, just ugly women. So, ugly women, good men. Ugly women, a lot of them at times, they know they're ugly. Sad to say it. You know, there's many different definitions of ugly and pretty, but in my definition book, these bitches know they ugly. <laughs> so these good men, they got like this thing called ugly radar, right? They might spot the baddest bitch in the club. Guess what? They got, their radar is going for the bitch standing next to her because 
because they want the motherfucker that's going to cherish them. Because even though they may look good to us, they don't know nobody want their ass. They might be a piece of shit ass nigga, and they know that a woman as bad as myself oh, gonna <laughs> is not gonna take that shit. We do take shit off of people. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to say ugly women take more shit, but it's a possibility. I I can't speak on that part. Because, unfortunately, I don't believe I'm ugly. Even though some people don't know they're ugly. Some people don't. I don't think I'm one of those people who don't know they're ugly. I have my Illuminati glasses on. I feel some such part of Illuminati. Okay. But, anyway. So, and why do pretty girls have a problem? Sometimes pretty girls do... They they a little bit more stuck up. Stuck up. It's just, just and, the truth. And they don't feel comfortable approaching them. Right. they look stuck up. So exactly. So, sometimes the good men will go for the ugly duckling because they're like, okay, well, this woman right here, he might not be so confident himself. Even though he may look damn good, he might even be a good man, but nobody has told him. Or maybe he's been scarred by a pretty bitch. Who's to tell you? But because that pretty bitch is too fucking sadity, she feel like, you know, she don't want to talk to him or she want to have a stank ass attitude so he go to the bitch who's going to open him with welcome arms because men do not like rejection we all know that mm-hmm. they would rather go for an ugly bitch who gonna do whatever the fuck they say and, and treat them bitch. like they is the best motherfucker in the world than a pretty bitch who might possibly tell them no get what i'm saying mm-hmm. okay on to the next question why this is also from anaya davis she is so great why do people take pics with dirty backgrounds answer because they trifling what the fuck how in the heck why why do i see your baby dirty pamper rolled up in the back of your picture you out of line hey a good bathroom pic is fine with me if it came out hot you was in the bathroom fuck it post that bitch make sure your bathroom clean though that is ridiculous. You got your baby back there. Matter of fact, we're going to include the children in the filthy background. His little ass ass back there with a sucker stuck on his fucking chest. <laughs> rolled up ass hair and a sag ass fucking pamper. You in the picture looking all hot and shit. And he's standing beside you looking like you just pulled him out the fucking orphanage. No, sir. No, ma'am. I don't know why they do it, but we just going to leave it at this. Because they trifling. Now, on to the next question. Another one from Miss Adaya Davis. Um, just to let y'all know, this show might have to be done in two parts. So once you watch this one, you might have to go watch the next one if we run out of time. Who has more fun? Single or married people? Ugly or pretty people? Broke or rich people? You know, basically the opposites. I feel like ugly people have the most fun. Me too. Ugly people don't give a fuck. They have nothing to live for. They have no... They don't care. <laughs> no regards. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> They don't give a fuck. So, like, See, least, of course they're going to have money for. When okay. they go to the club, they don't care what they're wearing. Nah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Example. Myself. I ain't jumping in no motherfucking pool with this hair. But an ugly, naked-headed bitch going to jump head first in that bitch, and, and she going to have all the time. fun that she want to have. All laughers and gigglies and whatnot. And whatnot. <laughs> You're not a whole farmer. <laughs> but I'm not getting my motherfucking ass in there. Not when my hair freshly done. I ain't get in the damn pool. Fuck that shit. No, I'm not saying, you know, pretty people don't have fun or, you know. We just saying who has more. Who has so, more. So, you know, ugly it's just. people who have more the fun. Ugly people definitely has more fun. Think about this. The ugly girl at the party finna fuck with all the niggas at the party and have all the fun, dance on everybody. And don't give drink, a fuck. And don't give a fuck because her reputation already known as, she's known as the ugly girl. Hey, y'all know Keisha? Yeah, the yeah, ugly, ugly girl. girl. Not saying everybody in Keisha is ugly. Yeah, it's just that's the first thing popped in my head when you think about names is Keisha. My bad. But that's just what happens. The pretty girl's so worried about her damn reputation that she ain't going to get pissed drunk and lay on the... Okay, well, maybe not all pretty girls, but I will. <laughs> but I'm just saying, live your life. You only live once. Now, single or married, I'm going to just say single or married or single or in a relationship. Single. Single. Oh. Uh, single. Especially if you got an old man who don't want you to do shit. I hesitated because I'm trifling. You so. <laughs> so he do whatever fuck he want to do. Single or married. My ass, whenever you got an old man, oh, Lord, please don't let him be jealous because you ain't finna do shit. You can't go nowhere. You can't go. Number one, he think all your friends hoes. So you definitely ain't going nowhere with them horse ass friends of yours who ain't got no old man. So you got to go places with the bitches who got old men. They boring too. Because they scared they're going to get caught. So don't nobody want to do shit. Everybody trying to look and see if they don't see each other old man and shit. It just don't work. 
it just single people have way more fun. That's just how I feel. Now, if we're gonna talk about in the bedroom, <laughs> in a relationship, and married people have more fun. Well, okay, married mm-hmm. people who freaky have more fun because they in the bedroom because they can do whatever fuck they want to do. Like they don't have to. You know what I'm saying? They not. They don't have to be like, dang, I hope my little boo come over here tonight. They just go upstairs to their room where their spouse is and get down. They don't care down. what they look like. They don't they give a fuck. Exactly. A motherfucker like me, Lord, let that nigga say he about to come over here. My ass want to get all cute and shit. I be like, hold on, let me do something to my head. Okay, I don't care no more. But in the beginning, I'm like, let me look decent. And then you done spent two hours doing your hair for him to fuck that shit up. Mm-mm. But when you in a relationship already, you don't give a fuck. he know you going to look like shit. He don't care no more. It don't even matter. So they have more fun in the bed. That's how I feel about it when it comes down to that. Because you have no regards. No, Please regard me. Please regard me. Please regard me. Okay. Now, the next one is an anonymous. And this is, we're just going to call her J. All right. This is the situation. This person, or whatever, having a problem with their auntie. Their auntie talks about their unborn child, talks about them, talks about their mother, brother, Basically, it just dogs them out really, really bad. And this is the first time that the person stood up for themselves against their auntie and actually said something about it because it was just too much. Like, you know how people feel like because they're your elder or whatever, they could talk to you any kind of way and they could tell you anything. You're not supposed to say nothing. Everybody don't buy by this shit. I feel I like I this. But she feels like they were like what she and 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 the person lied and said that she did more than what she did whenever she did stand up for herself. So she's feeling like everybody is like, you need to apologize. And we whoop the whoop the one. She like, apologize for what? Really and truthfully? I don't know if you want to take my advice because I feel like this. The, Y'all both grown. You're the only one. There's only one person who can live your life, and that's you. Thank so you. it really don't matter what they Thank say. They they don't live your life. Thank you. They don't pay your bills. And y'all are both grown. And if she can fix her mouth, to talk about her own niece or nephew and sisters or whatever, then she is grown enough to take the lash back that you give to her. That's how I feel about the situation. Now, you know, if you went out of land, you are supposed to respect her due to the fact that she's your auntie. But if you want to apologize, if that would take some burden off your heart, I suggest you just say, well, I apologize for getting loud with you or for how I may have said something, but I do not apologize for how I feel because you should never apologize for how you feel. Don't regret shit that you do. If somebody don't like it, fuck them. Fuck what the fuck they talking about. It really don't fucking matter. Boom. They can end up, uh, boom, thank you. Pow, pow, bang, bang. They need to go ahead with that shit. So I know that you said that you was good friends with her daughter and now y'all not talking no more. Maybe you could call her and talk to her and just explain to her your side. Now, after she hear your side, if she still don't want to talk to you, then you just might have to take that up as a loss, as a friendship, regardless of the fact y'all still going to be family and you have to let her deal with that on her own because it is her mama. Mm-hmm. But on your part, don't let that burden your heart, baby, because if she want to talk about people, then she's miserable within herself and she needs to evaluate herself because y'all are her family she should not be talking about y'all downgrading y'all anyway understood all right boo now next question we got another one it's anonymous or whatever the um this person says why do women or men stay in cheating relationships most people feel like, especially if it's a long-term relationship, they feel like they don't want to start over. Or if they have kids, they feel like they don't want to leave because of the kids. Right. But nobody should be in a relationship if, you, if you're unhappy. You shouldn't stay in a relationship because then you're just making yourself miserable and unhappy. That's absolutely right. Now, the why they do, that is a logical side of it. You know, just outright kids or whatever. What I'm going to say about this, because we're running out of time, so I want to get this question answered so we can start a new one. What I'm going to say about this is people that stay in cheating relationships when they know what's going on, it's about self-esteem. If it's not about kids or that you done been with this person 30, I don't even care if you've been with that person 30 years. It took a long time for me to realize shit because I was young, but once you get older, you get wiser. If you gonna go fuck around on me, especially when we say cheating relationships means that it is constant. Not like they the nigga or the woman did something and then they let it go. Okay, we gonna make this to a second segment. Alright, because this thing about to cut off. So, 